English 113, Grammar 1, Chapter 9, Expressing Past Time, Part 2. The Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Form the simple past tense in WH questions Use before, after, and when in time clauses Form the past progressive tense appropriately Recognize the use of the past progressive tense appropriately. Use while in the past progressive tense. Use while and when in past time clauses. The simple past tense yes or no questions. Begin your yes or no question with did with all personal pronouns. I, you, we, they, he, she, or it. Or with a singular or plural form of nouns. Did you find your keys? Yes, I did. I found them in my pocket. I is the personal pronoun, and we're using did with it. Did Chris buy the tickets? No, he didn't. Chris didn't buy the tickets. Be careful. Use the base form with did. The simple past tense WH questions. Begin your WH question with a question word. What, where, when, who, why, how, what time. Then use the same word order as in yes or no questions. What time did your class begin? My class began at 8 o'clock. Why did you run? Because I was late. What did Carol buy? She bought a car. What is your question word? Did, Carol is the subject, buy is the verb. You're following the same pattern as in yes or no questions. The simple past tense using whom or who, who or whom is used to ask questions about people. Who and whom have the same meaning. Whom is used in formal English as the object of a verb or a preposition. Who did you meet or whom did you meet? I met Jim. Who or whom did you talk to? I talked to the teacher. The simple past tense using who or whom. Use only who when who is the subject of a question. Usual question word order is not used. Do not use do, does, or did. Do not change the verb in any way. The verb form in question is the same as the verb form in the answer. Who came? Mary. Mary came. Who talked to John? The police officer. The police officer talked to John. Before, after, and when in time clauses. A clause is a group of words that has a subject and a verb. I ate breakfast. A main clause and a complete sentence. Before I went to class. A time clause, an incomplete sentence. I ate breakfast before I went to class. The main clause, I ate breakfast. The time clause, before I went to class. Before I went to class, comma, I ate breakfast. Use the comma when time clause goes in the first position of the sentence, and the main clause is at the end. Note, when a time clause comes before the main clause, a comma is used between the two clauses. Before, after, and when in time clauses. A time clause can begin with before, after, or when. Before plus subject plus verb equals a time clause. Also, after plus subject plus verb equals a time clause. Also, when plus subject plus verb equals a time clause. We took a walk after we finished our work. After we finished our work, comma, we took a walk. We took a walk when the rain stopped. When the rain stopped, we took a walk. 
In these examples, the time clause goes in the beginning, and the main clause is at the end. Please use a comma to separate the ideas when the time clause is in the beginning of the sentence. Before, after, and when in time clauses. Before and after are also used as prepositions followed by a noun object. Before plus noun object equals a prepositional phrase. After plus noun object equals a prepositional phrase. We took a walk after the movie, a prepositional phrase. I had a cup of coffee before class, a prepositional phrase. The movie and class are noun objects, and they go after, before, or after. When is also used to introduce questions. When plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb equals a complete sentence when introducing a question. When did the rain stop? A complete sentence. End of part one.